The final question deals with normal distribution. Now, it is important as always to read the question and to understand the context of the question. So, this is the story. One event at Pentor Sports Day is throwing a tennis ball. So, that's the event. Uh, the distance a child throws a tennis ball is modeled by a normal distribution with mean 32 meter. So, the mean is 32 meter and the standard deviation is 12 meter. So, what this means is, so if you have a random variable that is normally distributed with mean 32 meter and standard deviation 12 meters, so the variance would be 12 squared. So, that turns out to be distance. A tennis ball is thrown. So that is the context. How far a tennis ball can be thrown. And the mean is 32 meter. That means on an average, they throw a distance of 32 meter. And the standard deviation is 12 meter. That means there is a difference. Because everyone cannot throw it exactly 32 meter, mean uh, gives an idea of if we distribute all the data among everyone, that would be 32 meter. And standard deviation tells us about the gap from person to person, and that gap is 12 meter. Maybe someone throws it a little bit more than 32 meter, that is plus 12, or someone a little bit less than 12 meter, that is minus 12 meter. And that gives us the idea and it gives us the context. Now, the next thing that we have is. Any child who throws the tennis ball more than 50 meter, so more than 50 meter, is awarded gold certificate. So when they say gold certificate, it basically means more than 50 meters. So let's uh, do question number A. Show that to three significant figure, 6.68%. Uh, that is the probability. Basically, they're giving us the probability gets. Uh, gold certificate so what they mean is find the probability x is greater than 50 meter so that's what it is so step one would be to make them the 50 meter a unit free so to make this unit free distribution we have to use the standard normal distribution 0 1 square 0 has no unit so let's do the z score so z is greater than 50 minus mean which is 32 divided by sigma, meaning standard deviation that is 12. So that is probability of z is greater than. So this is going to be 50 minus 32, that is 18 divided by 12, and it is 1.5. So z is greater than 1.5. Now we have to convert this into cumulative. So greater than has to be converted to less than. So it is 1 minus z is less than 1.5 since it is continuous it doesn't really matter we don't have to adjust 1.5 into 2 or 3 because it is continuous so let's look up the table so this is the standard normal distribution so every z is less than so we're looking for z value of 1.5 so if you look over here 1.50 so this is the value of z and this is 0.9332 so, 0.9332. So, let's subtract it from 1. And 1 minus 0.9332 is 0 0.0668. 0 0.0668, which as a percentage is 6.68%. Remember, percent means divided by 100 per 100. So, if we divide 6.68 with 100, you get 0 0.0668. So, that is done. Now, question number B. Question number B is, a silver certificate is awarded to any child who throws the tennis ball more than D meter, but less than 50 meter. That means, more than D, less than 50 meter. So, that is the probability. And we know that this probability is 19.1%. The probability is given. So 19.1% means 0.191. That is the probability. And remember, when we have 
whenever uh, we have any probability to find this is a type 2 the probability is given we have to find the random variable the previous sum we had to find the probability now we have to find the random variable d either way step 1 would be z score so for the standard normal distribution so therefore the first z score would be uh, d minus mean is 32 divided by sigma is 12 then z 50 minus 32 divided by uh, sigma is going to be 12 so which is going to be 0 0.191 so we can write now the rule for converting this uh, into manageable cumulative format is to do this if you have z between a and b you write b first and then subtract z is less than a so that's what we have to do over here so we can write probability of z is less than now 50 minus 32 by 12 we just did it it is 1.5 minus probability of d minus 30 uh, z is less than d minus 32 by 12 which we cannot simplify and the probability is of course 0.191 so from the previous sum we already know what z is less than 1.5 is so it's this one 0.9332 so 0.9332 let's bring 0.191 to this side minus 0.191 and let's bring this probability to the other side probability of z is less than d minus 32 by 12 and using our calculator it turns out to be 0.9332 minus 0.191 and that is 0 0.7422 let's write this in the proper order again d minus 32 by 12 equals 0 0.7422 okay now we are in the position to start finding the value of d the first thing we have to do is draw the bell curve it is extremely important that we draw the bell curve first so the bell curve shows is the standard normal distribution this is zero so less than means start shading from this region so that's what it means so let's start shading from this region so if we start shading so up to this is 50 percent so up to this is 50 percent that is half the bell curve but this is 0.74 meaning 70 percent so we have to shade all the way to this side so maybe up to this is 74.22 percent so this point is going to be plus a a positive value so this is going to be plus a so what we can do now is we can write let d minus 32 by 12 be equals to a and we can do the sum z is less than a equals to 0 0.7422 now let's get back to our table and from the probability we can find the value of the value of z so remember this time we are not looking for the value of uh, we are not looking for the value of probability we are looking for the value of z that means we know the probability the probability is 0 0.7422 and we're looking for the value of z so if you scroll down you will find that this is 0 0.7422 and the value of z is 0.65 so we can just plug it in so therefore a equals to 0.65 now we can find the value of d so we can write hence d minus 32 by 12 equals to 0.65 so if you cross multiply 0.65 with 12 it turns out to be d minus 32 equals to 0 0.65 multiplied by 12 therefore d equals to 32 plus 0 0.65 multiplied by 12 and we get 32 plus 0 0.65 multiplied by 12 and we get a total of 39.8 39.8 meter remember the context the entire context is in meter so this is also going to be in meter so the value of d but even if you don't give the meter that is fine because all you need is the value of d 
There is one more question left. Three children are selected at random from who? From those who take part in the following uh, in the in the throwing a tennis ball event. Find the probability that one is awarded a gold certificate and two are awarded silver certificates. Now, from the previous sums, we know probability of getting a gold certificate is 0 0.0668. That was question number A. Question number B was probability of getting a silver certificate is 0 0.191. That is what we know from question number A and question number B. Now, in question number C, what we have is we have this permutation thing. What can happen if you are going to pick three contestants? It can be the first person gets gold and two persons get silver, silver. Or it can be silver, silver, gold. Or it can be silver, gold, silver. Altogether, we have the same events arranged in three different ways. And in permutation, the order of arrangement counts. So that means let's take one of the probabilities. So the probability of one gold and two silver is equal. Let's take the first one. Gold has a probability of 0 0.0668 multiplied by silver has a probability of 0 0.191. Multiplied by probability of another silver is 0 0.191. And since we have three different arrangements, instead of writing the second arrangement and then the third arrangement, we can just multiply by 3. And this turns out to be 3 times 0 0.0668 times 0 0.191 times 0 0.191. And the probability is we have into 10 to the power minus 3. Let me write shift. ENG. So point zero zero seven three. Remember the answer has to be in two significant figure. So zero is not significant. So seven three is significant. So point zero zero seven three is the answer in two significant figure.